We're going to find out. Uh, let's say, yeah. let's say Tracy has something <laughs> for us. I, I can <laughs> speculate, but yeah. Okay. I thought I read it right, but like. Hi, John. Good evening, folks. Good evening, John. What? It's seven PM uh December thirteenth. I'd like to call the regular scheduled meeting for the planning and zoning commission for the town of Allentown to order. Members present Scott Davidson. Uh, Patricia Ray. And our select Woman is here, Tracy Hansen, and John's on as well. Uh, seeking of ultimates, no ultimates present. Approval of minutes. Uh, before we go there, we need to make an addition to the agenda. Make a motion to addition to the agenda for the Office of Selectman 824 referral. Second that. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Proposed none, motion to various. Approval of minutes. Well, I make a motion to approve. All in favor? Aye. Motion to various. Um, Tracy, Tracy would be up. Okay, so um, I'm requesting the 84 referrals for the town on property. Tom, for you have them in front of you in the packet that I took together. Tracy, um, if you want, I can also put them on the big screen. I don't know if that's useful or not. Yeah, if you want to, if you want to explain to them what the 84 referral is too. Sure. Again, and so this is something that we did um, a couple of months ago when uh, the town was looking to um, sell the um, the former Methodist Meeting House on Church Street. Um, any, basically, uh, the state statute, Section eight dash twenty four. Um, any municipal um, acquisition of property, sales of property, substantial improvement of um, of municipal facilities, including sewer and water lines, including, you know, a major like building a new school um, has to be referred to the Planning and Zoning Commission or specifically the Planning Commission um, for a review to determine whether that sale or purchase or improvement is harmonious with the plan of conservation and development. Um, and so, you know, the, this commission is being asked basically to comment and judge whether, you know, in this case, I believe these are all proposed sales, Tracy. Yes. Um, are, you know, advance advance the goals of the plan of conservation and development. Um, the the trick is if you as a commission determine that, you know, one of these sales or all of them are not in harmony with the plan of conservation and development, then that would change the necessary vote at the town meeting that would ultimately um, decide this matter from a simple majority of town meeting voters to a two thirds majority of town meeting voters. So they would have to essentially override the veto of the planning commission um, for these proposed moves. But if you approve it, um, if you, you find them harmonious, then then it's, it's just a simple majority at town meeting. And I'll turn it back over to Tracy. You wanna describe what, what we got going here? Okay, yeah, so these are all um, small pieces of property that the town acquired through um, for foreclosures over the years. Um, I've sent all of these properties um, and their deeds and all the paperwork to the town attorney to make sure that we actually own them to sell them. Um, he said that it, it, it does look like that we acquired them all through the foreclosure from the paperwork we have, and um, it, it's up to the person that buys it to do the total research of it. But we, we can, uh, we can, we have uh, ownership to sell them. So, the, this one's 42 Bailey Pond, it's one acre, um, it's a vacant lot. Um, uh, 
think a chunk of it is blocking. You can't really see it on here. Is that the blue? Um, the blue. Like oh, the blue stuff on the map. Yeah. Is blocked. Block. Yeah. I can I can bring up the GIS map also if it if it helps give a better <laughs> sense. Um. If not almost half. Yeah. Would be so, <laughs> obviously it's not a buildable lot. Um these would be beneficial for the attached property owner. Um so that's 42 Bailey Pond Road. The next one is also on Bailey Pond Road. It's 173 Bailey Pond Road. It's 0.14 acres, also a very small piece of property. Um, it's on par. It's also non buildable. It's non buildable. It's only 0.4 acres and it's, it's just a narrow strip. 0.14. 0.14. Sorry. 0.14. That's <laughs> Yeah, 0.14. Um, this would be beneficial um, to the neighbors. In the past, there was also someone interested in purchasing it for uh, a uh, access to the pond for fishing and stuff. So, um, that was something that was 12 feet and 60 at the room. That someone had had interest in the property before. Oh, there it is. Yeah, I couldn't see it. Yeah, it's just, it's all like really good. Um, so that's that one. The other one is also in the same area. It's for Fuqua Trail. This is on the other side of Bailey Pond. Um, these were separate lots, but the town uh, combined them into one. So now that one's buildable, right? This one is, I believe. Is that the one that's like part in Rhode Island? Um, I'm not sure. Some of I don't know, 14 people up Yeah, from like 17 and 25 people up there. This one oh, is, yeah, you uh, see them at the way right here. Mm -hmm. This map. one that we actually have a beaver problem. Yeah, it's from the end. I think yeah. some of these are the ones pretty darn close, close if it's not in. This is from the road. It's a private road. It's a private road, and I think it like stops where the house is. Mm -hmm. So the, you can get through all the way through, but I don't know if a vehicle's done. Private own there's so there's a separate owner that owns that Pequot Road. Um, I'm not really sure. How the ownership of that goes is on the reef. Can't you can only get to it from the Rhode Island side, um, and it. This is going to be for so you. The town doesn't plow that road. No, we don't. It's a private road. So, is it discontinued? Well, it's no, it's just a private road. road. So, on Paper Street, then it's private. Yeah. So I don't know. Um, I don't know how that road works. So. I mean, I mean, but. That's the other property. That one is potentially buildable. And then the last one is 74 Econ Hill Road, which is a, also a really small piece. Point two one. Yeah. It's just a, like a little triangle. Also beneficial to neighboring property. Um, oh, how far north of that is okay, so it's just a little ways up up 49 from yeah, it's on. one of the neighbors actually one of the neighboring properties actually approached me on this one. They are already interested in acquiring it. So. Yeah, because it's in their front yard. I don't know if it's that <laughs> one. I don't know if it's that one or the one. I think it's the one next to it. 38? Yeah, I'm not sure. I think it's, I think it's 38. That's only a few properties before the camp thing, right? Yeah. Oh. So those are the properties that we're looking to um, offer. <laughs> Is there any? Yeah. And I know it's a small parcel, but is there any benefit to keeping? The, the 173 Bailey Pond Road. Because it does have water access, I mean, is there something that the town could do for the recognition to do like some sort of actual 
since it's owned by the town, access to beach uh, to Bailey Pond for everybody. Mm -hmm. I mean, so this, that would be that term. That pond. Yeah. Like, how deep is that? How big is that? Um, well, the pond, I don't know. That's it. I would, I would we get our water from to the fire department from there. From Bailey Pond? Uh, no, we don't, we don't have a um. A pump up there. there. So um, Sterling has one. Sure. Sterling has one that they put in on on Valentine's side. Oh. That's like right in front of the campground back there. Um, but there is no uh, water pump back there. I, I'm just I'm like just I'm just there. throwing that out there. That <laughs> I think I think we I know it's a small piece, but I I think you may be sitting on a benefit. Yeah, I agree. That one, yeah. just that one. I mean, the rest of them, I, yeah, I understand. That one there, I, I think there may be some benefit to the town in some way, shape, or form, whether it's now or twenty years from now. Right. I don't know. We don't have any other town access to the correct, correct. Right. Yeah. Maybe. The state on yeah. the left part where the woods are on the left, that's all state land. Of course. Yeah. And uh, we we do have a little bit um, over where the road crosses over, um, right where the corner of the yellow is right there. Um, Which can I'm running? Yeah, near where we are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 The only thing that says then we know where to really park over there to access that pizza. I mean, it might be nice. Well, I mean, fire department. But. Yeah. I mean, it's got 60 feet in the front. You could. Fit some parking in there for you know maybe exactly. four or five cars. Because the only um, it's not a um, the pond is for like small motor like a really small motor. Yep. And but like people fishing. can put in the kayak or, or whatever. You know what I mean? Oh, if it's deep enough for small motor, it's deep enough to pump water off. Where the free bulk of things, any motors. Yeah. You know, so. It doesn't have. I don't know. I think this is standard water. Yeah. 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 I think the state owns it, even though they keep telling you, like, oh, I don't know who owns it. We don't know who owns it because we have issues with trying to put it to your truck. That's the only thing. It's not. What that you might get for it selling it, it's probably worth more to hold on to if it's your only access to the pond. Yeah. Well, we have the access on the other side for the four people. Yeah, but we don't have we don't have access to a road. Right. But but that, they don't, that, they that don't maintain that, that road. Road. We have road. 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 down that road. Yeah, the end of it's not maintained at all. It's like a you can set your bike down there, but oh, it's turned in the mud. I mean, that's too foul to be a dead part. It might not be a dead part. It looks like even where the road is, you could carve a couple of parking spots in over there. Yeah, or a back, back to the equipment more. in or a piece of equipment or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you have 60 feet. It would be good to have a small parking area so they're not parking on the side of the road. Yep. Yeah. Because they usually park on the side corner up. Right. I just yeah. For what it's worth. Sure. Yeah, if it was a two acre lot, then how are you gonna get some money for it? But yeah, yeah, but for what I think it could be more benefit to the town and the taxpayer, I should say. It also can't be revisited to be resold. Yeah. Yeah. Otherwise I'm fine with I'm fine with selling it. Those parcels. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I just think I I personally think access to water. How does the board feel? I agree. I agree. Yeah. Absolutely. absolutely. All that. Absolutely. Access to water is huge. Yes. Every day that land disappears. Yeah. I, it, yeah, it's not much, but it's enough to for something. Mm -hmm. okay. And it's water access. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. Fish. Really fine, fish. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like fish. Fish and fish. Fish, yeah. fowl. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs>
So, Mr. Chair, you, I, I, the way I see, if I'm if I'm hearing the consensus of the commission correctly, I think you have two options, and it depends on what Tracy thinks. Um, but I would, I, it sounds like there's general consensus that the commission would issue a favorable review on the proposed sale of um, 74 Econ Kill for Pequot Trail and 42 Bailey Pond Road. Um, yes. And then it's really a question of whether or not, Tracy, you, you want to hold off on 173 Bailey Pond Road at this point, or if you're going to proceed, it sounds like the commission may be interested in, in, in recommending not selling just yet. I'm fine with that. Fine you want to just you want to put like pull it back for now? Yeah, I'll pull that one back. Okay. So then, then, Mr. Chair, not to cut discussion short, but then I, I think if anyone is looking mm -hmm. to make a uh, a motion that that the commission uh, would issue a uh, a positive uh, review of the town's proposed sale of 42 Bailey Pond Road for Pequot Trail and 74 Econ Kill Road, finding it consistent with the plan of conservation and development. I right. I heard the three. What John said. <laughs> I'll make the motions to approve those three. Those three lots. I'll second that. Uh, okay. All in favor. Aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you, Tracy. Thank you. Citizens' comments. Anybody? New business election of officers. Okay. President. It's nominate you for president. Yes, for second. All in favor? Aye. Okay. Well, any other nominations? All in favor? Aye. All right. Motion carries. Uh, Vice President. I, I nominate Steve. Yeah, I try to have second. Steve, Vice President. What to do, right? Yeah. Then I'll have to get a board. No. Any other nominations? Nope. Okay. Um, so. We have to vote. This is, yep. We need, we, need to be not here. we need to vote. We need to vote we? for Vice President. Well, we made a motion. No. Yeah, we're fine. Motion carries. And then secretary. Don't me. Yeah. No, not me. Yeah. Good job. It's not been a lot of work with it. Yeah. Just, yeah. We need a place to one. I you I, I think you don't actually because you have a recording secretary in, in Taylor, you don't necessarily need to have a uh, a, a position on the on the yeah. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, he wants that one. Yeah. Yeah, he did say he wanted to say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dave, so. Dave, you want to make a motion for Dave? Yes, I'll make a nominee, Dave. Oh, I'll second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion carries. Maybe he wanted to do it last week. Yeah, I think. Oh, yes. Yeah, so, yeah. I didn't yeah he said he wanted to be thing. part of yeah. oh. not the board. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. yeah. He yeah. did also. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Well, I mean, it, it falls back that if the two of us aren't here, it would be David that right. runs right. the meeting. So, and David's fine with that. I'm still here. Yeah. You're three years in now. Yes, you're yeah, not here anymore. Yep, this is year three. <laughs> all right. Um, alternate seat vacancy. We have one application. And we have how many vacancies? We have two vacancies. Okay. It's from Andrew Crowley. Right so that's this, correct? Yes. Okay, the other side. Gotcha. Just, um, where's all the other information? We have <laughs> by next month we have to make decisions. Do you guys want to sit on this for another month? Do you want to just go ahead and make a motion to accept this and appoint him? What were you on before the DBA? On DBA. Yeah, I just actually sat in on the DBA. So the last meeting, yeah, it was an alphabet, and then they had to uh, vote on it. But then somehow my paperwork had got mixed up. For, I'm not quite sure what happened. So. When was that? Oh, just in, in just yeah, I think it was the last month. Was it a month ago? Two months ago, we had done uh, uh, a variance that got approved. So, but I've all I've been. All You're months. not on GBA now. I don't believe that I am. No, I don't think you are. I, I think something. 
I would okay. just an all another sure? for that one. Well, yeah. are we sure on that one? Yeah, yeah, no, I'm not. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I, I hate to say, you know, the obvious part: small town, people busy. Sometimes it's tough enough to get people here as it is. Oh. The longer we wait. I know. Yeah. Are you available on on the week? I would be, yeah. Yeah. It's Wednesday night. Mm -hmm. yeah. Second Wednesday? Yeah. Yeah. I will make myself available. Okay. Okay. Well, I I would make a motion as long as he's not on ZBA. Yeah, he's not on it. Yeah, we're positive. Yeah, so I have a family. Yeah, he's not on it. Okay, all right. Then I make a motion to accept it or a motion to seat him Would as an alternate. He's going to be sworn in. What we don't have to wait for a month, right? He's going to make he's gonna get sworn in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, we have. So, and there's still one more vacant. So yeah. we really need one more. We could really use one more person. Have you heard of anybody else, Tracy? Mm -hmm. no. We could make a motion to seat him in one of the vacant alternate yeah. seats. Yeah, and when he's sworn in, he could be yeah. next month. Correct. Mm -hmm. I just see the clerk to get sworn yeah. in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll make the motion. I'll second. Okay. All in favor? <laughs> <laughs> I know. What, what? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion carries. Please come out. Thank you. Yeah, anybody that helps us. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, yeah. right. 2024 schedule of meetings. So, so we didn't have a hiccup. Uh, Taylor already put it in for us. It would be the second. Wednesday at 7 p.m. of every month, as we've always done. Um, if there's any, I need somebody to make a motion to, to Valentine thing. I know. <laughs> well, I'm 53 this year. I'm 53 this year. Make it less. Wait. <laughs> I make a motion we uh, keep this Yeah, keep things, the zoning meetings on schedule. I will put them. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carries. Okay. Zoning rags, you're up, John. Okay. Um, well, so at this point, um, we I, we've incorporated uh, the most recent changes, which were the um, the smaller lot, the the pre-existing non-conforming lot, uh, reduced setbacks, um, incorporated that into the non-conforming regulation section. Um, and I would suggest that this is more or less in a place where we can um, schedule a public hearing and send this to the attorney um, because of, you know, because of the entering the holidays and, and um, getting comments back from the, the COG. I would suggest that we, if you're scheduling a public hearing, that we schedule it for February to open. Um, so you give ourselves a couple of months. We can take a look at uh, through and, and get some comments back from Rich. Um, before we hit the public hearing, and uh, I, I think we're ready to proceed. Well, I got a question then. We just mentioned the holiday, John, and everything. we're literally a week and a half away. Yeah. Is that enough time to get any questions and comments back before our first meeting in January to get it fixed by February? I, or do we need to go to March and get it fixed by March? And I think, think you're. What do you think, John? But I yeah, that's fine. I mean, March is fine. We're you know we're not in a massive rush. I'm just wondering if he point. has enough time over yeah. two holidays with yeah. two and a half days yeah. between them. Yeah. yeah, I agree. I agree. That's fine. So we need to just send it to the attorney. Right. Do you want to tentatively schedule a public hearing to be held on the? Well, I can tell you. Do I have to schedule in front of me about March 13th? Yeah. There you go. Okay. <laughs> At 7 p.m. Okay. okay. And so, yeah, if you want to make a motion there, and, and, and then we'll refer it out. I'll make a motion to have a public hearing at the March 13th planning and zoning regular committee meeting at 7 p.m. Oh, I'll second okay. that. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion carries. Okay.
Okay. So that you're going to send that to the attorney? Well, I will take care of it. All right. Thank you. Correspondence and announcements would be nothing. Okay. Zio report. Um, report. Yeah, nothing, nothing super significant. Um, we did have a couple of notices of violation go out this month. Um, one to 263 Congdon Road and uh, one to 787 Beach Pond Road. In both cases, there was a small accessory structure, a trailer or shed um, placed, you know, within the within the setback area. I think in the case of Congdon Road, the, the trailer may have actually been placed on the neighbor's property um, across the property line. Um, I think, you know, yeah. thanks to some some poor understanding of where the property lines are. Um, and so both of those folks received a notice of a violation. I think the folks on Congdon Road are uncertain that they want to believe the the survey. Um, but I we anticipate sort of formal responses from from both. Um, oh, that's why the survey was up there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Otherwise, uh, it's been relatively quiet. We did, you know, have approved a couple of a couple of zoning permits. One um, for a, a, a brand new house, um, and uh, you know, others for small additions and sheds and things like that. But it's been, you know, relatively quiet. I don't know, Taylor, if there's anything that you want to add. I have a question. I know Pete used to attend sometimes. We'll go on. Yeah. Will our um, new officer be attending any of these meetings? Is he out? Yeah. He is? Yeah. Oh, okay. Sean is our new officer. Yeah. Yeah. No, he is. No. He's the building, he, the building, building, he was building inspector. He, yeah. he, he uh, was, was separated now. Before. Yeah. Pete was like, here. Pete right. was here because Pete was our zoning officer. Yeah. Right. He was also the building official. John is our zoning officer. And. Right. Yeah, yeah, that's what I meant. I thought maybe yeah. he'd be attending. No, not the zone of the I want to talk. <laughs> yeah, I'm coming during oh, yeah, for, for, for now, I'm, I am your, your interim zoning officer. He has a cell phone. Yeah. 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 He's a good guy. Rick's good people. Fantastic. Yeah. 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 Yeah.